Hello, hello, and welcome back to my Legacy Challenge Generation 2, Episode 2. Okay, so we're still in the Zest household at the moment, because obviously until Maya ages up, we can't be doing much. But I have given their bedrooms, like, a cute little makeover. So Maya's is pretty much the same, except I did get a notification that she's going to have her first period soon. So we have got her a box of tampons, which we're just going to pop in her inventory. Mom stuck them on her bedside table last night. Uh, Rowan's room has probably changed the most. Uh, so we've got rid of the sort of dinosaurs and gone for a more science-y kind of thing. Um, and like a little reading corner back here. Some little bits and bobs, cute little mirror. Yeah, I kind of like Rowan's room. Lillian's room we've changed up. We've made it like this really pale blue. So like, it's still girly, but not too girly. And yeah, I think it's, it really suits her. Jane's made pancakes for breakfast to make up for the fact that I didn't do it then. I'm also going to do a disclaimer right at the beginning of this episode. Um, The ferrets are out. So if you don't know about the ferrets, they're not mine. They're my partner's ferrets. And they tend to stay over um, whenever it's really cold because we've got an indoor set up for him down here. So I always let him out for half an hour in the evening. And uh, they're somewhere in my bedroom right now and God knows what they're doing or when they'll attack. Because they have got a sort of thing of eating my feet. <laughs> Going for my feet. So uh, I'll get some water as well, baby. Oh, it's nice. Everyone's up having breakfast. Do you want to, like, grab a saving? Oh, you're not well, Maya. Maya's not well. Mm -hmm. The sword of some medicine. There you go. You can take the medicine. Oh, no, wait. Is don't. Don't take the medicine. Grab a saving. Oh, like this one. There's just pancakes everywhere. It's like no one actually eating them. They're just grabbing them and looking at them. There you go. Jane's in a pretty good mood. So she's all done. Johnny is fine. He's eating his breakfast. Maya. What is going on with Maya? Let's reset her. Oh, great. Now I reset everyone. Lillian, baby, finish your pancakes. You... Are you eating animal crackers for breakfast? No, eat the pancakes. Why? Why do they do this? And Johnny's back on the coffee. Johnny's got a coffee problem, okay? I'm just going to put it out there. He's addicted to the caffeine. There we go. Go and get yourself a nice drink as well. And, you know, wash your hands if it's bothering you. So today we are looking at Rowan. Rowan we're going to be concentrating on a little bit more. Today my, oh god, she's over medicated because she took medicine. Okay, she took too much medicine. Oh, poor Maya. But we're going to open these ready. I think though before we get into this, we're just going to get... Maya to come and talk to her mum about how she's feeling and maybe maybe like let's go and ask her about her day first. Like let's start off really really low key and be like, so um, what's the deal with woohoo? Like you know that thing. Chris needs to read some books, so I'm gonna get him on the books. You can take a thoughtful shower and... Oh, look, we got a little picture stuck on a wall. Oh, just put it down there for some reason. Draw a vehicle. Ooh, why is she mad? You're only asking about her day. Do a self-deprecating joke. Share your insecurities with your mama. Johnny can clean up the mess. You can go and do your stuff. We're going to have a little, a little bit of girl time. And she's going to be like, honey, are you feeling okay? You seem a little bit more stressed out than usual. 
I think she's like, oh, I just feel so rubbish. My stomach's in, my back's in, I saw you left me some pants. Where's she going now? Don't go dance yet. We're supposed to be having a nice moment. So now I want you to ask about. Wait, is that asking if she's had woo-woo? Or is that like the woo-hoo talk? Ah, right, okay. So we will... Where is it? Ask about woohoo. We're going to ask. Ask Mama, Mother Dearest about it. We're going to have the little woohoo talk. Imagine Lily and be like, eh, that's so gross. Ow, fair a bit, my foot. Told you it would happen. And then she's like, well, you know, it can be nice when you're ready, when you're responsible, and you make sure you're safe. I'm trying to have this serious moment with my sims and there's a little white ferret attack in my feet. No, they're joking about it, which I think is quite nice, so... Did you, I don't know if she asked. I'm like assuming so. Oh, Dad, no, you don't want to be in here for this, trust me. He's like, nope, nope, I'm out, I'm out. I'm going to go over here. I don't want to be part of this conversation. Oh, look at her. She's out of it on medication, too, while her mum's explaining the birds and the bees to her. I'm sure she already knows from, like, you know, biology in school. But uh, now she knows a little bit more. Owen's reading his book. Happy in the corner while his sister's drawing. Amaya is just out here. Maya's now the only blonde because Johnny's gone grey. Oh, my God, and I just remembered... Yeah, holy crap, it's Jane's birthday today. Do you enjoy our conversation? Do you? I don't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, ouch, Maya. Go and blow out your candles, Jane. He like, screw you, I'm going to be an elder. I don't care. Being an elder is cool. I get to retire. So where are we with Maya and her age? Four days. Oh, goodness. What grade is she on? Oh, she's an A. Good. Seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and interminable. Intermittable. Intermittable. I can't say it. Naps await. Party like the Grim Reaper's not around the corner. Lovely. Oh, Jane's like, oh, my back. Do you know what this means, though, Jane? You can retire. You and Johnny can now live the good old retired life. I really would like you to read your rocket science book. Pension checks every day based on the salary of her retirement. Maya's dancing. I'm actually going to send her out for a morning jog. Since she's energised as well, seems like a good time to go out for a jog. She's going to change her clothes there and then change your clothes again when you get outside. Seemed a bit excessive, but okay. If that's what makes you happy. Like, she's fitness level three already. I said, Rowan, I'd imagine being less bothered, but I think he'd really more enjoy just sitting there reading his little rocket science books. Whereas, like, she's going for it on the painting, but I needed her to be inspired, so that didn't really... Uh, work for me the way I was hoping. Get one of these pictures up on the walls, like not on the floors. I'll have to change them in like build and buy later. There goes the little ferret just running past my feet. You never know what these ferrets are up to, man. You gotta watch them. No, I love them really. I never thought of having a ferret as a pet. But I do like low key love these guys. Okay, go on. I'm gonna retake why don't you take a bubble bath? It might help with your cramps. Mm -hmm. Can we enable the emotional aura from this? Oh, here we go. That works even better. I'd imagine, like, you know, because I'm doing the fitness kind of thing with her on the side, but I'd imagine to be a detective, you would need some sort of, like, creative premise. You know what I mean? 
I mean, I imagine all around, you'd need to be like quite creative, you'd need to be sociable, and you would need to be quite fit. So, yeah, she's got her work cut out for her. But I think she can do it. I believe in Lillian. Plus, I love her. Right, so she's in the bubble bath. Rowan's doing really well reading his books. So, I think he's only rocket level, science level two. Let's see what personalities they've got. Sage. Okay, that lesson's about mentally gifted, yeah. That doesn't really suit him very well. Mm. We are going to read another book, though. Just, like, work through these aspirations a little bit. Can't do much with Maya's at the moment. Um, we can work on her logic skill and things like that, but we're just kind of waiting for her to age up. Hmm, physically gifted. She's a lover. Johnny! Johnny's, like, dancing in the room naked! <laughs> Johnny! Your children are in here. I think he. I think he's going senile. I think old age has got to him now. There's a ferret on my leg. Jane's like, Christ. He's losing it. My husband is losing it. Which ferret's on my leg? Ah, charm. I love having help record my videos by the little crazy ones. Oh no, she's gonna walk across my keyboard. Thanks, thanks. You shouldn't have pets in the room with you while you record. But, you know. Oi. Sorry, I'm getting attacked by a small ferret. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's in my head. This is why I could never be a professional YouTuber. I try and multitask and this is what happens. Nope, 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 nope. You've got to get off my head. Thank you. Nope. Get off. <laughs> right. Sorry. I, I, I apologize about that disturbance in the middle, but I was just getting attacked by a ferret. Oh, my God. She's going to do it again. Oh, God. She bit my butt this time. Oh, she's such a little, little madam. Okay. Now, what was I doing? Anyone know? I've completely lost track. I should never tr try to record this with the fezes out. I'm going to, um... I want to know if it's safe to put my feet on the floor. It's, like, too intense. It's like a horror film. All right, she's on the bed now. She looks so sweet and innocent as well. I'll have to like upload a video of them at some point. Okay, sorry. Uh, guys, I am sorry. This video is really hard to record. I was like, oh yeah, I'll record while I let them out for half an hour. I kill two birds with one stone. That was a huge mistake. I realise this now. Because I have no idea what's going on. Johnny's still naked. He's just like... Now he's going to play the guitar naked. Dude, I really think you should put you some clothes on. Though I suppose it's true. Like, the older you are, the less Fs you give. And he's like, man, I like to be naked. My kids will just have to deal with me being naked. Right, so Sunday's a quiet day in this house. <laughs> it's a nice family day. I have no idea what's going on. I've completely lost track of everything I was doing in this episode. Right. Oh, yeah, I was trying to focus on Rowan a little bit. I wanted him to sort of, like... I was wondering if we could fit, like, a telescope in his back, the back garden. Because I remember they're, like, huge, though, aren't they? If I remember properly... They are huge. Um, activities and skills. Yeah. They're like quite big. But we'll uh we'll take one anyway. 
Because I'd imagine he would like, like, at some point he's going to like stargazing and things like that. Um, You know, he's really going to get into that side of things. Like I said, I did show you his room earlier, but I do, like, low-key love it. Um, Considering, like, I haven't got him any of the packs installed, I thought it was quite a nice, a nice room. And I did it black, but with the blue in it, I think it kind of goes really well. I love that mirror. The mirror's so pretty. Um, have we got like Lillian's personalities? A performer. That sounds about right. She's supposed to be really outgoing and really confident and things. So yeah, that sounds about right for Lillian. Johnny's still like rocking the guitar in the nude. Like whatever makes him happy. <laughs> okay, so shall we invite over? Our potential love interest. She's sad now. Oh, oh sweetie, it's hard, I know. Mum's just like, I've retired. <gasps> Marvin died? No way! Oh my god. Marvin was like almost our partner does everyone you know salvador's died and alberto I, I don't really know who these people are oh my god she what are you doing practicing flirting oh practicing flirting before he comes over is it is he even coming over yeah I'm going to have to figure out how to pronounce that name. What are you doing, little one? Okay. Why don't you play with a toy, then? She, She's... I need more time. Oh, Love it. So she's getting, like, curious about all these things now. She's at that age, you know. Hormones are racing. Guys are knocking. Your dad is naked. Right, Johnny, you're going to have to put some clothes on before the if, if friend comes over. Go and put some clothes on before he comes over, please. If he's coming over, because I don't know where he is. I kind of wanted Rowan to do some stargazing tonight, but obviously that has to wait until night time. Did you not eat your food? Why are you the only one this friggin' hungry? They seem to be having a nice conversation. She's sharing her insecurities with her little sister. That's quite sweet. Probably wouldn't trust your little sister, though. I don't know where this guy's... You know, he said he was coming over. He hasn't turned up. Should we ring him again? Since he didn't turn up. I don't know what's going on with my game. Rowan's like, who needs people? Who needs people? There he is. And then, like, change him up a bit and cast if she does end up with him for, like, you know. Let's go and tell him an engaging story. And then I want to drop, like, a little bit of romance in there. Let's, like, ask him a risque question. Oh, no, he's got acne. Oh, dear. Poor kid. That should make you feel better. She still thinks you're cute even when you're sporty, which, you know, most people would. Let's compliment his appearance. We're definitely getting a bit of romance here and drop him like a little flirt. Discuss his interests. We just still don't know, do we, his second trait. Where is he? Walter's all grown up too. Where is he? There. Yeah, we still don't know his second trait. Oh my god, you can have your first kiss already. That's, like, soon. Um, Let's ask about the relationship. Let's see how he feels about us. Happy birthday, Jane. Let's have a small celebration. 
Do I need to make you a cake? Who are you? Oh, summer holiday. That's nice. Do what you gotta do, Summer. Oh, she's level four on her charisma. God, hug up in bed. No, don't do that. I do not want a teen pregnancy right now. Look at all their sentiments, though. Like, it's so nice. <laughs> It's so nice. Let's give Maya a first kiss. I hope it goes well. Wee. Oh. Oh, now they cut chin. And they're messing about, like. I don't think he liked that. <laughs> Is she doing it again? Maybe she's just really uncomfortable. Let's ask if he's had woohoo before. And then talk about our dreams. Like, is everyone just in here cooking their own individual meals? Pretty much, pretty much. Now, guys, I know this um, has been a short, really disruptive part because of the ferrets, and I do apologise. I will not have them out when I record the next part. I want to thank you guys so so much for watching uh, if you made it this far in the video please give it a thumbs up again I apologize for <laughs> the chaoticness of this video like I have no idea what I've recorded so thanks thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys real soon